It's the National Football League on EA Sports, where London will play host to a different kind of football. It's the New York Giants and the Miami Dolphins on Monday night. Here in London, we see one of the world's most iconic football venues, Wembley Stadium. And since 2007, it's welcomed the NFL to stage some American football contests as well. Up in the booth alongside Brock Yorda. Graham Gano out for the opening kick. And we are underway in London. He's going to field this at the two. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. So the Dolphins offense headed out for their opening drive. They'll be let out by the fifth year lefty out of Alabama, Tua Tonga Vailoa. To his early career, yeah, it was known for injuries. Maybe not being as durable and as available as you want in a top 10 pick. But the last few years, he's taken great strides to rewrite that narrative. Remember, this was a guy that rewrote the record books in Hawaii, won a national championship at Alabama, and nobody questioned the accuracy of that left arm. It was just the availability oh, that he's had to rewrite, and he's done a heck of a job. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. They'll throw on third and long. Escapes out to the... Team is on now, and they get this away. He's got this one at the 37. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. That one an impressive 57-yard kick. And they'll begin this possession in just a moment. Throwing it to start this drive. And his first pass falls incomplete. I'm just going to say, maybe not the guy you want to pick on coverage on this particular series. Gets a hand on that throw and knocks it away. The next time, well, he could get two hands on it and take it the other way. Sending a receiver left. They'll run now on second down. And he'll cross the 50 and start pushing onto the opposing side of the field. There's five on that play. They need five more now on third down. Back to throw. He completes it in traffic. And he'll be brought down after getting it to the 47-yard line. The Giants ready into punt. And they're going to send out the lefty, Jamie Gillen, for the kick. And he drives this one skyward, hoping to drop it near the goal line. Fair catch called for and made just outside the 20. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and 10. So Miami headed out for its second drive of the game. And they haven't gotten their legs under them on offense just yet, Brock. Three plays and a punt on their opening drive. 
And he stopped. Now we'll wait to hear what this flag is all about. Holding offense. But partner, they say there's holding on every play. You just got to look for it, right? Uh, that time, though, we did not have to look too hard. All right, come on. Go ahead, go ahead. Play action on first down. He put some air under this one. Deep right. He makes the catch. It's a huge pickup on the play. And that will give them some serious momentum along with a first down. Back come the motion man here. A lot of speed on it. Too tough to handle. Incomplete. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. It's second down and ten. Shotgun snap, looking to throw. Escapes the pocket. He tucks it and takes off. They'll get 18 yards there. And that's going to give the Dolphins a first down. Tua looking to throw. Got his target. It's Hill. And he's going to be stopped at the 17 yard line. That's the end of the first quarter. We're back for the second quarter. Dolphins in a real good spot to score. Hey. Running for the marker on second. And not much for him there. He's down to the 15 yard line. Ready, Short yardage situation here. It's third and two. It's a game of the yard. Brings up third hey. down. Going right back to Mostert. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. Fourth down, and on comes Jason Sanders for the Dolphins field goal. From the left hash, 34 yards away. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And that's going to break our tie and give him a three-point advantage. Sanders all set to send it away. I never saw a play script that ended with a field goal. It was always a touchdown that you wanted. But that's three points, and it's enough to give him the lead. And he gets across the 30 before he's brought down. They've got first down from the 31. Trying to throw here out of the gun. He connects with the rookie from LSU. And they'll take him down at the 43-yard line. Set for first and ten. Option give here. Pass midfield to the 45. And he's finally taken down at the 39 yard line. They have themselves another first and ten. First and ten at the 39 yard line. Off the play fake, he's gonna throw. Pass complete to his back. He runs this to the 25 before being brought down. Big game, 14 on the play. And it's good enough for a New York first down. We've hit the two-minute warning now in Britain. It's the Giants looking at first and 10. Pass play now. He'll dump this one off to his running back complete. And he gets this forward to the 19. Now we're going to get an offensive timeout. That's their first. Second and three now. Out of the gun. They'll give it to him inside. And it's a nice gain off a really good effort there just to stay upright. The Giants moving quickly. They're in the hurry up here. And he'll pick up a little down to the 12-yard line. Timeout calls, and that's going to be the second for New York. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. Shotgun snap. They're going to throw. The throw is caught. And this one stopped at the three-yard line. A nice gain of eight there, and it brings them to first and goal. Goal to go. It's a pass play. And he will score. Touchdown, New York. Giants get some late points and the lead. 
So the offense showing a, a slightly different dimension there, Brock, getting the running back involved with his hands for the touchdown. Yeah, such an advantage. I think when you think about it, Kay, it really is about the 80s where we start to see these running backs not just tote the ball as runners. There would be real weapons when they get the ball in the passing game. That's well done. And he opts not to bring this one out, so they're going to enjoy some good starting field position from the 30. Drive starts out with a first and 10. Well, we've already seen some nice plays here, and we're going to see plenty more before this game ends. But you might be thinking, with plays like that, my guy's ratings should be better. Well, you're not alone. you got a chance to let the Madden ratings hotline know just what you're thinking. Give him a call. 1-844-MADDEN-1. And make your case for who should get a boost. Second and ten now. He's on the move. He's on the move. It's a pickup of 26. And it'll be first down Miami. To throw, Tonga Vailoa. That one falls incomplete, but our attention's still behind the line. He got cleaned after that throw. And drew the Looking instant flag. Defense. Man, there's no way around this, Brock. They had that offense exactly where they wanted them. And the penalty gives him a whole lot more breathing room. Yeah, I'm thinking of the late, great Dennis Green. He said it perfectly. We had him right where we wanted, and we let him off the hook. <laughs> and he'll be brought down here at the 23-yard line. Offense at the line, but they won't snap it. We've got a timeout. 44, ready. Second and three. And the Giants are two blocks. They take him down. Miami calls a timeout here. It's second. Five men in the second area for the G-men now. Ahead of third down. Here's Tunga Vailoa. On the move. Headed right. He's running for it. And this is down to the 28 before the defense halts it. Fourth down, and on comes Jason Sanders for the Dolphins' field goal. From the right hash, about 45 yards out. And that one is good. A little longer, but no problem at all. And that cuts the lead back down to a lone point. Things trim back down to a single point, Brock, as they send this off and away. Return coming from the six. And he gets across the 30 before he's brought down. The Giants getting one more series here before the half. And clinging to this one-point lead, Brock. Probably don't want to risk too much here. Back now, pressure on its way. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he's down. Looks like they made the stop at the 46-yard line. One play in, and this drive is already in the enemy territory. Throwing deep to the left side. Incomplete pass, and we're down to 12 seconds remaining. There's the importance of staying in phase as a defender. He was all over him in coverage, and that really did help force the incompletion. He's trying to go deep again. He's got it inside the 10. And he will score. It's a New York touchdown. The Giants will add to their lead at the end of the half. That one splits the uprights, and they'll continue adding to their lead. Time left for maybe a return plus a play here as they send this away. And he opts not to bring this one out, so they're going to enjoy some good starting field position from the 30. They've got first and 10, Bronk, but time for maybe two plays at most if they even want to try anything. He'll throw it. And this falls incomplete with just two seconds remaining. One last play before the break. Looking to throw. Got him deep behind the line. Oh, the ball is out. And it's a turnover. The defense has it. We're at half. Our apologies. 
energies to the halftime performers and anyone hoping for a quick snack break. Nope, not this time. We're pushing right through and getting the third quarter started. Here's a return from the seventh. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. Oh, there's no question about it, Kate. That just infuses everybody. A little more bounce in your step now, both in and out of the huddle. And you want to pay off your special teams that set you up for success. Oh, he got hit as he was throwing, and unsurprisingly, it falls incomplete. Second down coming up. They're going play action. He fires on deep down the right sideline. He can't connect with him. Incomplete. Just put it a little too close to the boundary there. No connection on the last play. And now it's third down. Here we go. Set. Throwing now off play action. Just got it away before the hit, but it doesn't matter. It's incomplete. Fourth down coming up. The Giants are set to punt. And he's getting the call for the second time this game. And he drives this one into the pouring rain. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. The, the Dolphins in pretty good field position here as they come up first and ten. Go! Now it's White. Down he goes. The Giants come to him. Big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. Trying again, following the set. Pressure's there, and he goes down again. So not an enviable spot here as they come up on third and very long. Now he'll throw off the play fake. Oh, they're on him, and he's dropped again. And the defense comes through. That's going to back him up and bring up fourth down. So the Dolphins ready for the punt. And after that drive went backwards, he's going to send this one forward. And he drives this into the pouring rain. Fielded at the 38. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. And after the punch, the offense comes out onto the field. And that is where they'll start the next drive. On first down, they'll run. And he gets some good yardage down to the 42. Just a little short, but still a nine-yard pickup. That's going to bring up second and one. They go play action here. He finds his running back. Nice work complete. That goes as a gain of 25 yards and picks up the first. Working inside the red zone. He brings it in. And he will score. Touchdown, New York. The Giants lead by 14. Gano for the PAT. And they miss the kick and leave a point on the table after the touchdown. So following the missed point after, the chance to take his frustrations out on that football as he sends this away. And no return as this is going to be a touchback. And with our new kickoff rules starting this year, the ball only comes out to that 20-yard line. The Miami offense headed out there now. Their last drive didn't make it very far before they had to punt it away, partner. So hopefully this one... Oh, no! He lost control of another one! And no turnover. It's going to stay with the offense. They really need some chunk yardage here on second down. They send a receiver in motion right. After the sack, another pass on second down. This one's taken in by Hill take him down here right at the eight yard line defense with an excellent opportunity at a stop here on third down 
Now White. And that's a win for the pass rush. Hit as he threw it, leads to the incompletion. Fourth down coming up. Hunting unit out now. Jake Bailey's gonna kick it away. And he finally gets a hold of one here. This is hit far. All in his hands right around midfield. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. On the 44-yard line now, first and 10. Ready, ready, ready. Throwing now from the gun. He throws a bullet down the left sideline. This is caught. Looks like he stayed in bounds, too. Great work. Four downs now to get in. Here's first and goal. They'll try and punch it in. And he's only going to get two or three yards on that one. Hey, I get it on first and goal, right? A lot of teams like to be conservative and, and limit risk. Even if a run is stopped short, you still got two, sometimes three downs to play with. Hands it to the receiver here in motion. Oh, look at this sweep. And he's brought down for a long. You know, when receivers have room to operate, that's a play that can totally gash a defense. The kid, when you get down here in the red zone, it becomes so much tougher because you have a whole lot less space. And in fact, you'll see defenses swarm like that one just did. And he got it real close, but stopped just about a yard or so shy of that first down. Three plays haven't gotten it done. Now a fourth to try to reach that end zone. He gets one final shot here. And he's going to fight forward and get in. Touchdown! So, Brock, they take a gamble, and it pays off with a big touchdown on fourth and goal. And they do it on the ground as well, and that just speaks volumes. That's confidence that you can... scrimmage and your back will see Elaine and will get the job done. That just infuses your team and your sidelines with so much confidence. Now probably still mentally kicking himself after that missed point after. He can take a little frustration out here as he kicks this away. And this drive will start inside the 25. The Dolphins offense ready to go as they take the field. They were only on the field for three plays their prior series, Brock. Let's see what changes they make to take over here. Got him deep behind the line. Oh, the ball is out! And this is going to be a turnover. The defense forces the big play. Well, that didn't take long, Brock. One play, and they're back out there. Well, that's how a defense can make you awfully happy as an yeah. offensive player, especially when you screw it up and you fumble. The defense picks up that offense and puts them right back on the field. Now we're going to get an offensive timeout. So that's their first. They'll break the huddle and come up on first and goal. Jeff. First throw for the backup now. Dumps it off to his running back. And he will score. It's a New York touchdown. The Giants capitalize on the turnover and add to their lead. Gano for the PAT. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. So following the missed point after, the chance to take his frustrations out on that football as he sends this away. And he opts not to bring this one out, so they're going to enjoy some good starting field position from the 30. They're out and set, first and 10. Offense returning to the field now for the Dolphins. They watch their fumble turn into points, so feeling maybe a little bit of an urge to make up for that now in this series. That's what you call efficiency. Exactly what you're looking for in first down. Textbook. It sets up second and very manageable, and it creates that space if you want to take a shot down feed. And the Giants are too much. They take him down. And that pushes him back. Third down coming up. It's the two-minute warning from Miami. Dolphins just want to get out of here with how this one is gone. And the Giants going nickel. Third down coming. Get set. Get on, get Fakes the handoff, now to throw. Trying to push it deep downfield. 
Another turnover, and this time it's an interception. Picked up by Deontay Banks. And the Giants are finally tackled on the return after taking it all the way back to the opposing 40. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. They cleaned up the fumbling issues from the last drive, and now... Now it's an interception that turns the ball over. Yeah, and two very different tones and tenors on these two sidelines. Okay, One coach is clean, begging for some ball security. The other is simply saying, keep it up, boys. Keep taking that ball away. Job well done. Call it seven yards, and now they'll have second down and three. Half 18, half 18. Up go. Another carry for it. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. It's got to be so demoralizing as a defense when you go up against a running back who just keeps those legs churning like a piston in an engine. And that effort's contagious. This entire offense is getting a boost when he busts those tackles. And he works this to the 15 before they make the stop. Well, that doesn't matter first down. You get yards like that in the run game, you will take it in the NFL. Okay, here we go. Hand off on second and short. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. Third down, one yard to go. Here we go, hey. Back to back carries here. And he's able to get this down to the 13. Give him three on that game. And the Giants will have a first down. They give it to him again. And he maneuvers through the middle for a gain of four. Don't come away happy getting that type of output on most run plays. It's a sign. We're getting some good push up front, and this running back is seeing the lanes and paying him off. Second and six coming up here. Here we go. Up we go. Back to the well again. And he gets them a little closer to the end zone, down to the six. It's a pickup of three. They're going to need three more now on third down. Bobo, Bobo, Bobo. The Giants are going to call their final time out here. That's all they had, so the offense free to start running the clock down now. Graham Gano and the Giants field goal unit out. This from just 23 yards away. His kick is good at the end, but boy, Brock, we might see some words exchanged at midfield here as they add three to the win as time expires. So the Giants come away with the win. And we know how rain can wreak havoc at any moment on a football field, but they didn't let that stop them today. They played their game, and as a result, they're leaving here with a victory. So for Brock Heward, everyone here on our great crew, I'm Kate Scott, and this has been the NFL on EA Sports. It's a well-earned win for the Giants, as we say cheerio from London.